Hello, hello, hello. My goodness, what a mighty thwomp that is. Yes, if you've read the description, you're going to know what this is. I managed to procure a copy from that there eBay for a very, 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 very reasonable price. I would never pay full price for this because it's a whopper. But I secured it for a good price. Dead men tell no tales, etc. So uh, let's see what's inside, shall we? Should we have a look? Oh my goodness! What 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 kind of packaging material is this? This is the 21st century. It's futuristic. And then oh blimey, it's all opened. Oh wait a minute, let's get out of the way. Get out of it. Right here we go. Yes, it's uh, Moody Blues Timeless Flight. It's the uh, it's a big one. Oh yeah, it's a whopper. I've never seen one so big. Uh, it is the most exhaustive career retrospective ever. In, indeed, it is. It's got seventeen count them seventeen discs, uh, CDs and DVDs and surround sound and oh oh I can you oh I can't even imagine how much it all is. And there's a big book as well for us to have a look at too. So uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, when this came out, I was tempted to buy it, but it was just too expensive. But like I said, I found a copy. And uh, I found a copy that was very reasonable, and here we are now. So let's Swissy, let's do some magic, Swissy. Ready? Right, here we go. Oh, that was clean, wasn't it? Wasn't that clean? Now listen, let's listen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like I'm dressing a, a lady, isn't it? And with one moment. She's undressed. And, uh, wow. There's a lot of ephemera. There you go, there you've got your, your patch for your leather jacket. A genuine fabric patch. And of course there's a folder full of old toot. I'll put that there. So what's this? It's an after show backstage pass from the autumn tour, 1973. We're only 40 years too late. Oh, let's do it wobble. Um, and uh, ride my seesaw. And what's that? Some the music. They're very, very papery. And oh, this is this is what you want. Never have you seen such a, a collection of, of pictures of a fine, fine group of men. Look at them. Look how handsome they are. Oh, oh look at that. Now this one, in particular, will keep you from being lonely on those cold winter nights. My goodness. I still not know why they pack these box sets full of crap like that. Why? It's no use to anyone. Just think it could have been, I don't know, 50 quid cheaper if we didn't have that old tour. Anyway, this is a, a tour program of the, of the Alton tour. Um, yeah, well, it's okay, I suppose. Uh, again, I don't know why they include this stuff because you know replicas of tour booklets. Unless it was actually, uh, oh, I, I don't know. I don't know why they bother. But anyway, you got some nice pictures of the band. I suppose it's nice if you're a really, 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 really big fan. I suppose. And uh, yeah, but anyway, look, look at this. Here, look at this. Look. Yeah, look, look, look. You can see where I got it from now. Ta ta. Yes, indeedy. Um, but yeah, I don't know why they include these things. But it's, I guess it's a nice replica for those of us who wasn't there. I shall uh, be perusing that later. And of course, there's a great big poster. There's always a great big poster. So you can put it on the wall of your boudoir, you know. Um, but I can imagine, you know, during mid-coitus, your partner going... Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Mike, Mike Pinder's looking at me and he's putting me off. It could happen, couldn't it? Maybe you don't want to put it in a boudoir. Maybe that's one for the den. If you've got a den. Or a man cave. They call them man caves these days, don't they? Or a shed. Do you have a shed? No, I don't have a shed. Well, I've got a shed, but I wouldn't want to live in it. Oh, I've lived in a shed for a year. Have I told you that story? Yeah. Anyway, discs count them loads of discs there's four there and there's another four my goodness 
and uh, my goodness, and then there's this some more. So there you go, you've got 11 CDs, 11 CDs of album material and live shows and goodness knows what, you know, A-sides, B-sides, C-sides, Z-sides, everything. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Have you ever seen anything so exhaustive? My goodness, I'm exhausted just looking at it. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, promo films and 5.1 surround sound mixes, which is the, you know, is where I'm usually interested. Uh, so there you go, I've got three DVDs of, of, of promo stuff and three DVDs of 5.1s. Of course, these ones I'll be listening to. These are taken from the SACD mixes that were done in 2006 and they've just put them onto, onto DVD. You know, stereo surround sound, or whatever. What do you call it? And um, now this, you see, let's move that out there. This is the epic hardback book. My goodness, it is a whopper. Feel the, feel the width, feel the quality. It's amazingly deluxe and delightful. Look, it's so it's so nice. I'm fighting with it to keep it open. The paper is so so thick and unwieldy. Look at it, look, oh, just look at that, look at that paper stock, do you hear that, it's lovely that is, well this is just, this is just amazing, it really is, it's a, uh, it reminds me of the, the family box set that was out earlier in the year, uh, they really do, are doing a good job with these, um, these accompanying, accompanying, I mean this is like a coffee table book isn't it really, when you look at it. And it's full of pictures of the band. Even more handsome shots of them all. Look at them. Moody Blues, they're a strange looking lot. I never I've never understood it. I mean one of them looks like a waiter. The other one looks like he's coming out of a barber shop. The other one looks like he's a bank manager. And uh yeah, and it's 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 Tom Jones, the voice boy all. Ah. Remember seeing was it Van de Graaff Generator and Tom Jones in the same week once? Amazing, and that's when they were in the Brady Bunch, and there they are getting some furniture. I mean, the seventies was very much like that. Everything was brown, everything was brown. And yeah, we used to wear fur coats a lot, if I recall, fur coats. Yeah, but yeah, that's the seventies for you. Very, very brown. They captured it. They captured the time very well. All we needed was a, a fray bent or meat pie, and it would have been complete and there you go i mean there's just loads and loads and loads and loads of pictures for you diehards out there and uh yeah very 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 peculiar and you've got album sleeves and cds you know a cd what am i saying single sleeves not cds <laughs> God damn. Oh dear, I've fallen over my tongue today, but um, yeah, you've got the album artwork for you to look at, but although it's a very small replica, of course, and, uh, and there's the band in action. Of course, it was the one song, wasn't it? It was the Night Nights in White Satin that was the was the song, and uh, there you go. And that's why I said fur coats, lots of fur coats, donkey jackets. Yeah, the seventies. You had to live it. You had to be there, man. You weren't there, man. You don't know what it was like. Three-day week, power cuts, Doctor Who on the telly. e by it. We're, we're going back to that, aren't we? We're going back to that soon. Um, but, yeah, I mean, oh, you know, but, um, this, this box set's going to give me the chance to become thoroughly acquainted with the Moody Blues because you know, I've, never, I've never really got them. You know, Don't get me wrong, I'm fully aware of who they are, but... I've never really understood what the Moody Blues are, so I'm hoping that this will help me understand you know, what it means to be uh, a Moody Blues fan and that. So, uh, yeah. My God, there are lots of pictures. Lacking pictures of Patrick Moraz, though, I've noticed. Where is he? Where's, where's Patrick Moraz? He, I'm sure he was in the band at this stage. They keep cropping him out. Maybe that's because of the legal action he took with them when he, he said I was a you know he said that he was a member, and they said he was just an additional you know like a, an extra man. But he won the case. He won the case. But yeah, he seems to have been airbrushed out of history there by the Moody's. 
Uh, yeah, so but that's a great shame. Yeah, Patrick Moraz, he was with Yes, wasn't he, and Refugee. Yeah. And that's it. We've come to the end there. There we go. I mean, that is a that is a one hell of a tome. That is that's impressive. I must admit, I'm very thoroughly impressed with that. That's, that's going to get a good thumb in later on. Who, who doesn't enjoy a good thumb in? Yes. Oh, yeah, oh yes, Mrs. Oh. Uh, let's put it all back. Oh, let's put it away. Let's put my toys away. Don't want the kids getting their greasy mitts all over it. You never know. Might might have to put it on eBay. <laughs> you never know. Um, but. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just absolutely astounded by it, really. But a very expensive box set, one for the fans, and we, I, I, I don't know if I'll, I'll, I don't know when I'll be able to do a review of the whole thing, such as such as the size. But anyway, my name is Aaron Locke. This is Timeless Flight by the Moody Blues. I don't want to think of saying that is, plug on. <laughs>